What's happening guys? Joe here from Theme Park Insanity and a big hello from Blackpool Pleasure Beach aka Pleasure Beach Resort here in Blackpool. The first of the 2024 season in terms of days. We're here to experience the likes of Icon, the big one, and of course everything else this fantastic park has to offer. But first and foremost, it's just so great to be back. The fact that we're actually gonna get roller coasters today is absolutely brilliant. Genuinely, I could not be more excited. And I've also got Fear with me as well. And apparently he's quite determined on getting on the big one and also Icon as well is big enough. So uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to kind of sort of finding out exactly what he thinks of the rides. And of course, bringing you guys his first reactions as well it's going to be quite a decent video so without further ado let's get into our video here from blackpool pleasure beach in fact before we do theo you excited yes yeah what are you looking forward to most today icon and I big one icon and big one hopefully big ones are open anything else you want to get on um see yeah still a bit tired bless him anyway like i said without further ado let's get into this Today is set to open up at 11 and it is open till 5 and of course we always have a tradition when we come here to Blackpool Pleasure Beach and that is, and I'm sure a lot of you else will do the same, going to Velvet Coaster. <laughs> I'm still knackered for uh, a breakfast. So we're going to go in, have our breakfast and then yeah, we're going to go queue up. It's set to open as I say at 11 o'clock. Looking forward to seeing of course what Amanda Thompson does, whether she kind of gives a speech like she normally does um, and also what the entertainment team do as well. But Really excited to be back. The fact that we're going to get on rides today is fantastic. Kicking things off as we mean to carry on. And of course, we also have Alton Towers on the 16th of March as well. So two weeks away, literally today. Not that long to wait now. And of course, big changes coming to Alton Towers with the rebirth of Nemesis this year. But first and foremost, let's enjoy Blackpool Pleasure Beach today. Right, well this just set us up for the day, nice full on breakfast, got a bit of toast over there. Phil's got a breakfast wrap, which you're, you're really hungry aren't you? <laughs> so I won't bother you, I'll let you eat it. We've got some fresh orange as well. Well, and also, black pudding, let me know in the comments, do you love it or do you hate it? Because personally, I'm a massive fan of it. Can't beat a nice bit of black pudding. But, as I say, eat the breakfast, we'll head on over to Pleasure Beach, queue up and we'll be in hopefully before we know it. Right, well, I'll tell you something, that was absolutely delicious. We've literally just got here now. We're going to start queuing up. Can't wait, really can't. Entertainment's team in there, entertaining everyone. Let's get in line. Let's get to Pleasure Beach and see what 2024 here in Blackpool has to offer. Let's go. So, guys, we're going to get over those doors very shortly. Do not worry, we're going to And we've got Bradley and Bella Beaver, I think that's it, um, out and greet people. Saying hello. We've also got other roaming characters in and about as well, which is a pretty standard thing for opening day. And in fact, most days of the season, as a matter of fact. But as you can see, very, very busy indeed. Lots of people here, as you'd expect it to be. So we'll wait for them to open up and get in. It's going to be a good day. That's who Paltons are, but never mind. Look at my Twitter, keep looking at my Instagram, and I'll tell you all the news that's happening here at Pleasure Beach. So, all of you, have a fabulous time. This is, I think, our 28th season. So, we've been spending a time, and we're going to be here. to Pleasure Beach start of 2024 season heading straight over to Icon yeah there's a chance that we might have to wait around but in all fairness well well worth it let's go head on over see how big the queue is and let's get our first ride of 2024 season and also Theo's first time in Icon as well yeah he's very excited right just head, turned up to uh, Icon giant queue as we ex expected it to be <laughs> so if I sound a bit out of breath but of course fast paced on the opening day 
not as of yet open of course and we believe that the first two trains are going to be competition winners because originally they should have been going on the big one and funnily enough it's been testing but apparently it's not actually opening as of yet so the first two trains will be competition winners getting ready down there in the station to do it by the looks of it just good to see testing but one hell of a queue having said that once we actually get into the main queue line itself the queue itself will go down quite fast and it does tend to eat through people quite quickly so yes it looks bad but it's not as bad as it looks if that makes sense I don't want to be too premature about this, but the doors appear to be opening, so hopefully that means we're on our way in. Fingers crossed. And if we are, I'll talk to you when we get off. So fingers crossed, first ride of the 2024 season here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. If all goes well, it's going to be icon. So good to be back down here. And of course, you can see the competition winners up there getting ready to go on. Of course, that's your normal fast track entrance. But yeah, making our way down now. Now, I'm a little worried because I've had an issue with my ticket when I tried to get in, it said invalid. I think it might be due to the fact it's a QR code on a black background, but hopefully it works on the ride. Um, and yeah, we'll see what happens. But looking forward to getting back on this. And as we know, Hyperior opens this year and that's a Mac Rides coaster. So this thing's gonna look like a kiddies ride by the end of it. Right, let's go ride Icon. And let's get Theo's first reaction. Re excited? <laughs> yeah. It's going to be fun though. No, he's excited. I think he's obviously quite nervous. But anyway, let's get on it. Talk to you when we get off. Well, we have music. That's a good sign. Yeah. Quite the queue for it now as well. All the way back there. But we're here. <laughs> so we ain't got long at all. Do love that piece of music. Notable Stranger, big shout out. Right, so Theo's just an icon. Theo, what do you reckon to that? So, after the first bit, it's alright. After the first bit, it's good. The first bit, that launch got me. <laughs> it's got a bit of a punch to it, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, what do you reckon to this bit here? Oh, that bit. Yeah, the big, the big top hat. It's alright, you know. That first bit, I got a bit, a bit of a shock. Bit, bit of what? A bit of a shock? Yeah, but after... Dad, so, oh, nice I, and smooth. Especially, um, I thought that was both in there. Oh, the the moment. Yeah. Yeah, size. So basically, I thought that was the best bit. Fantastic. Good to see you really that enjoyed was, it then. That, yeah, that was one of That's That is a good bit. That's a good bit. That's a good bit. Good. But, so, would you, would you ride it again? Yes. Fantastic. Good. But if you're, yeah. No, I'm really proud of you. <laughs> really proud of him, absolutely proud. He's, he's smashing it this year. In terms of getting his first and actually riding things for the first time, he's blowing it out of the water. He really is. I'm trying to remember where it goes because it's been that long. But yeah, six years in now, still running just as smooth as it was. Uh, the track, of course, is like a little bit wet this morning due to the, uh, the weather, but still packing the punch, still running really well. And a fantastic start to our day here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Theo's just got himself a little, uh, well, two little pin badges to celebrate, basically. But again, massive proud father moment there. Really, really proud of him. He obviously wants to get on the big one as well. However, sadly, it definitely looks like it's not opening today. So a bit gutted about that. But there's always next time. And there is, of course, a lot of other coasters here as well. So we're going to head back towards the entrance now. Go have a look and see what's going on with Ghost Train, see if we can get on that. Avalanche, oh, it's a uh, short, fortunately, Laughing Man's got a new outfit on. Pleasure Beach classic. <laughs> nah, how then, mate? You're right. <laughs> and yeah, go see what's going on with Ghost Train. Let's go have a look. All right, slight change of plan. Let's go for a ride on the Pleasure Beach Express and let's see if we can see any changes, any new additions, anything like that. Kicking in and around the Pleasure Beach. I 
also who remembers the monorail there's a POV here on the channel go check it out and if you do remember it let me know in the comments below hell of a queue now over there glad we rode it first and another train just about to set off Fusion's looking a little bit dead. Not really my favourite ride, but I'll give it a ride if it's there. It looks like people are getting evacuated off Revolution, so I'm guessing that's broken down as well. Tell you something, it's your typical dreary March day here today. Just had a nice relaxing ride though on Pleasure Beach Express. Seeing a lot of the rides go past, a nice little bit of interaction for us there. And then we saw Revolution evacuating down the stairs. <laughs> I'll tell you something, ride reliability is quite stereotypical of opening day today. Uh, a lot of rides are open, big ones are not open, Avalanche is having issues. Revolution, as we've just seen, is broken now. Icon is still open, but I think at the moment that's about the only major roller coaster as a rule that kind of is other than obviously classics like Big Dipper and Grand National and I don't even know if Nash is open personally but yeah it's not great but you kind of expect it really from opening day and in all honesty I'm not really particularly bothered it's just nice to be back and obviously we've had a ride on Icon we're literally about to meet up with Matt and Kelly oh and Ghost Train's not, not open as well that's really helpful <laughs> perfect right okay we'll have to find something else to go on never mind right then Wallace and Drummit bit of a queue for it but hey let's go do it actually maybe it's not as bad as it looks who knows oh nice this way oh. it's not actually as bad as it looks i thought it went all the way in there that's good let's have a ride on this what she said. Oh look, there's rampant rabbits everywhere. So ride on Wallace and Grumpy there and hopefully you guys got to see a little bit of POV footage because I thought you know what film a few bits as we go around I ended up filming the full thing so uh, 
Hopefully I've included the whole thing. It does look pretty decent to be fair. But yeah, we're gonna head on back down now to the ghost train, try that one out, see if uh, we can try and chance it and get on. Uh, we've got Matt here as well with us now. Hi. Right. Morning. Right. All swings. As we've already discussed. Yeah, everything's fine. It's a bit crap, it's a bit wet. Things still not running. I just hope today picks up because Merlin have completely and utterly annoyed me with their sheer discrimination towards people with problems. Lee said, not going there. Yeah. And obviously you'll probably see all of, all of that all over social media. Of course, if you haven't, go go have a look. I'm not really going to go into it, but yeah, they've they've not really made a good move. Anyway, regardless of that, as I say, oh, in fact, Ghost Train is reopened, right? This year, there's been a few changes for the ride. New scenes, new additions. So let's go have a ride. I might try and sneakily film as we go around and I'll show you what they've done. Spooky! So as you can probably tell, there's been a lot of repainting and obviously a lot of uh, TLC has taken place over the close season. Not only have they painted or repainted most of the cars into this black theme colour. Of course, you know, there are the odd differences there, but mainly black and purple as a role. But they've also repainted the rails there too into blue, which does actually look quite nice. It kind of fits with the room, um, the theme of the ride. The red obviously looked cool, but it looked very worn out, but the blue looks lovely and fresh. And it's just great to see it running. I genuinely didn't expect to be getting on this on opening day, so touch would hopefully we still get on it. Um, also the zombie in the box thing, that's now gone. Obviously that was down there. That's now completely gone. But a lot of changes inside. Hopefully I can show you guys a little bit of what's going on. And uh, yeah, let's go take a ride. They haven't all this bit, kept it as, as is. Right, okay, 
Ghost Train. Let's discuss a few new additions in there, as you've probably just seen. Apologies, uh, spoilers wise, but of course, you know, for those of you that did want to know exactly what is the case inside, I'm very impressed. I like the new, st new scenes. Um, the ride, obviously, that's a great little addition. Very unexpected for it to kind of be there. Um, the Freddy Krueger esque style person as well coming through that door. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, and then the monks, that, that's a really good addition. A lot darker in there, a lot more atmospheric. Of course, all the changes make a big difference. And as an overall experience, it's a lot, lot more creepy in there now than it was before. Um, it doesn't feel quite as cheesy as it used to do. Matt, what do you think of that? I enjoy the ghost train. I always do. What do you think of new scenes? You're not sure which ones are what? I'm not too sure what were what. Um, I thought one of the new scenes was that lovely lit up area that said fire exit and all the lights were <laughs> on. Yeah, to be fair, I didn't notice that actually as well. But yeah, that, that could have done with uh, darkening. But I noticed there were a few elements missing as well. Um, there was some smoke missing. We thought the trommel used to smoke a bit. Um, but yeah, overall in general, I love it, but I don't like the blue facade. But to be fair, that seems to be quite sort of like a general consensus. There's not many people that do seem to be a fan of it. I mean, personally, I quite like it. I think it looks nice and fresh. But when you actually take into account what used to be there, yes, I can understand why people might not be quite as keen as they were on it. Regardless, so it is lovely to see Pleasure Beach taking care of their heritage rides uh, and actually giving them some TLC and keeping them fresh. There's every chance they could have just left the ghost train as it was and left it to sort of like rot effectively and stay the way that Joel kind of went in towers with the fact that they've kept refreshing it year on year and add a little bits and pieces here and there lovely to see them doing that so yeah great kind of little uh, addition for the year for summer. well the weather's certainly taken a turn it's feeling just like our last trip to Blackpool when I was soaked through to the skin but we are going on river caves yeah there's a bit of a queue but again it's indoors and apparently there are a few changes again for this year as well a few new additions and such so uh, let's take a ride and see what we can see Smells funky. Looks like a lot of it's been painted up, looking nice and fresh. Definitely a big improvement. I smell dysentery! <laughs> I smell last night's dinner! Oh, it's very romantic. It's the Valley of the Kings. No, it's not, it's a rock tunnel. Monkeys here, monkeys there. There are the monkeys over there. Got any tea bags, monkey? Yeah, <laughs> uh, Time to go through what definitely does resemble a bin bag, bin bag tunnel, to be fair, actually. As Joe Booker says, I want me mum! I want me mum! <laughs> Oh God! Wetter than Valhalla. Here we go. I'm already wet. That's what she said. <laughs> ah! Oh, holy shit! You look a, a tad wet, Matthew. I look I've wet myself. He's not even eighty. <laughs> Now 
now done icon twice how was it that time for you so it's more tense just come over here right. oh. that's amazing amazing yes is it good is it better than mumbo jumbo is mumbo jumbo better hell yeah <laughs> I, hell gonna yeah say, I thought you were gonna say no for a second yeah you gotta love icon Yeah, so is it your new favourite ride here then? Yes. And next time we come and it's open, are you going to go and do that up there? Yes. Yeah? Perfect. Hopefully it's not as intense, not more intense. So no, it's, it's not. It's is not, it less? It's less intense. You want to go one big drop and then it's, personally I think it's a little bit boring, but yeah. Anyway, there we go. Icon twice in one day. And to be honest with you, apart from Passage del Terror, I think that kind of brings our visit pretty much to an end here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, because sadly we've been a bit rained out. But, of course, we're going to have another look around the park before we do wrap things up here at Pleasure Beach. Uh, and I think in this weather, this is one we're definitely going to give a miss um, today, but if you haven't already experienced it and you haven't already ridden it since it relaunched re last year, it's absolutely fantastic. I can't honestly recommend riding it enough. Just not when it's freezing cold at the beginning of March and absolutely belting it down. Let's go get somewhere warm. We're gonna now have a run through of Passage del Terror. Finish up our day here at Pleasure Beach. I'm just gonna have a quick look around Ice Blast because apparently Amanda Thompson this morning has confirmed something very, very interesting. And I'll talk about that in a second. So on an official count this morning, Amanda Thompson has confirmed that the Grand Prix is in fact leaving the park. Now, of course, this ride's been shut for quite a fair bit of time. Um, and it didn't really have the best reliability last season. In fact, I don't even know if it actually managed to open last season or not. But what we have had confirmed this morning is the fact that one, that ride is going, and two, she's planning a new attraction in that area. Now, it's a sizable footprint. My personal kind of speculation, I can definitely see a roller coaster going in that spot. In terms of what type of roller coaster, I'll save that for another video. But basically, it looks like we are finally getting something major and something new at Pleasure Beach very soon indeed. So again, I'll save my full thoughts on that, of course, for another video. But very exciting times. It's been six years now since Icon opened here at the park. So it is time that they invested in something new. So we just concluded our run through of uh, Passage del Terror and that was your first run through, what do you say, 23 years? It's got to be over 20 years since I've been in there. Yeah. Um, what did you reckon? I absolutely really enjoyed it and some of the differences, the changes they've made are absolutely fantastic. I obviously remembered The Exorcist, yep. uh, there was a vampire with a mirror maze, no longer there, there was Frankenstein, no longer there, there's been a lot of changes and it's sort of given us a, a taste of Halloween. Yeah. You know, the, the horror mazes and the things that we did last Halloween. Exactly, yeah. Uh, Man of Mortis, um, as we just mentioned, um, at Scare Kingdom. Love, some of the theming in there, nice. Man of Mortis was lovely, and some of the theming in there reminded me of it. And one of the really odd things, going back to my childhood, I used to work in the church, believe yeah. it or not. And... <laughs> One of the smells in there took me back to being that seven, eight-year-old child. And oh, wow. It was quite humbling at one point. <laughs> it was really weird. Actors yeah. spot on, set spot on, and the immersiveness. Uh, it, it was really, really enjoyable. Loved every minute of it. Yeah, so obviously it's £12 admission, and that's per person. Do you, do you think it's worth that? Oh, good, Totally. Yeah. yeah, totally. Absolutely. And, you know, as I said before, I've done it loads of times now. I literally make this a tradition in terms of doing this every time I come to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It is, as you just said, it's like how, having a chance to go through, through like a proper scare maze like all year round. Yeah, if we could have Halloween every day of the year, you know, oh, yeah, bring it on. That, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. That, and that is it right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, really mm, fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. So as Matt, you know, just said, it is literally like having Halloween all year round. And... 
It's a fantastic attraction. If you do like your scare mazes and you haven't yet done Passage del Terra, I genuinely I couldn't you know recommend doing it more. Uh, the whole experience lasts between about sort of five, ten, maybe fifteen minutes at a push. It really depends on kind of how fast you make your way through it. The actors are pretty much full on all the time. They're in your face. They're you know playing their parts perfectly. Of course, there's quite a few standout uh, sort of scenarios and scenes in there. For it. I'm not really going to go into any details because I don't want to spoil it for you all. But safe to say, there's some very recognisable characters in there, and they are portrayed perfectly. That's all I'm going to say. The set design, again, as Matt said, absolutely spot on. Uh, and 26 years this year, it's unbelievable that it has been here this long. Of course, it turned 25 last year, and it's now into its 26th year, I believe. And also, there was a few changes in there as well in terms of just really subtle things, you know, subtle little new additions and improvements and that sort of thing. So if you're out, out here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, sorry, I'm really tired, um, throughout this year, then do make sure that you do come check this out, pay your admission, and get the living hell scared out of you. Right, so we just wrapped up our day here at Pleasure Beach, uh, had a quick coffee, and funnily enough, bumped into walk with me, Tim. So uh, a big shout-out to Tim, Gabby, and Casper. Lovely to meet you all, and thank you so much for letting us sit and have a coffee with you. That was an absolute pleasure. But before we do wrap this up, we thought we'd come in here, have a quick look around the merchandise, see if there's anything new. Matt and Kelly have now gone, basically. They've got a long drive home, so we don't blame them. But of course, this year, Blackpool Pleasure Beach has rebranded to Pleasure Beach Resort here in Blackpool. And there are some new bits and pieces of merchandise here oh, with the name on. It still says Blackpool Pleasure Beach. No, it does on that one. Maybe that's all the merchandise, but that one, yeah, yeah that does as well. You've got all your Valhalla stuff here. So I think roughly the same sort of stuff that they had last year, really. And then we I, do like, I do like the mug, though. The mug's nice. And when we went into coffee shop, we just went upstairs. Yep. And grabbed table. I just went to grab table then see. It's made your day, that, hasn't it? Yes. So <laughs> I walked with Tim out that. I told you, told Dad that. Yeah. I think I just sort of walked with Tim. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> no. As I say, chances yeah. of running into him. That's amazing. But yeah, we've got some uh, 3D models here. We've got the Big Dipper, the Valhalla boat. I do like them. Icon. Definitely pick one of these up at some point this year. This year, I think. Can I get that? No, not today, love. Not too sure what the prices are on those. There isn't any prices on the. No, I can't see it, but yeah, we'll have a look. You've also got your nano coasters, which seem to be very popular. Big one and icon there as well. Valhalla bags and merchandise. I think, to be honest with you, this all looks to be very similar to the stuff they had last year, if not the same. I'm not too sure if that bag's new. Let me know in the comments, but it does look really nice. Lovely merchandise this year, actually. Just the quality as well. The, the quality of Blackpool's merchandise is absolutely fantastic. Obviously, embossed, you know, it's set on the mug there properly as well. It's really nice, really good quality. You've got the Pleasure Beach Resort merchandise here. So you've got your diaries there, your water bottles, lots of different colours, prices. Travel mugs, 5 95 Stripey notebooks, 5 95 And then Stripey water bottle is... 12.95. You got this in your collection. Oh, we've got some new pin badges. This, oh, we've got Mr. F all revolution. Oh, no, we do have new merchandise. Uh, I tell a lie. We've got new pins. And I'm... Can I get these too? Oh, we're going to get those. Yeah, you can get them. Cool. Let's get those. Got Mr. Funshine there. <laughs> Mr. Funshine. Grand Prix. What's that one? It's Pleasure Beach. So, yeah, there are a few new pin badges this year. I'm still There's the old logo there as well. I do, to be honest, I still I quite like that, but it's a shame that they've kind of gone down the route they have. But I'm still, I'm still shocked to be seeing Paul with my team. <laughs> Shout out to you again. Yeah, so we've got a few uh, a few pin badges there, a few oh, new ones, which is nice. At oh, the bottom. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right, put those back. Good lad. He loves his merchandise as for you. <laughs> Again, you've got more icon stuff over here. I like those mugs, they're nice. Very nice, you've got a Pleasure Beach sign up there as well. You've got all your Nickelodeon things over here. Range of stuff over there. I'm not going to go kind of through everything because, of course, there is a lot of stuff. But yeah, there's a few new additions for this year, a few new bits of merchandise, of course, all themed around the whole Pleasure Beach Resort, which we'll probably see more of through the year. You've got a Pleasure Beach puppy there. 
got Mr. Funshine t-shirt. Sorry, is it are those tops? Oh no, the hoodies, sorry. Yeah, very good. Of course, big mugs there as well. Signs. More icon merch there. And there as well. Yeah. A very nice sort of sizable collection. I do love the fact we do have a merch store like this now though. It definitely feels it, it just kind of it makes it really because it means that you obviously you don't have to go into the park to buy the merchandise you can actually just buy it without going in so nice to see them introduce this anyway let's wrap this vlog up right so that concludes our day here at blackpool pleasure beach the first day of the past 2024 season and our first visit to a uk theme park for a full ride offering it's been a cracking day it really really has um we've not really got many rides as such of course we got an icon twice which was great fun and quite a few dark rides and then of course we also had a bit of a wonder and just met some lovely people massive shouts to theme park i that's george kate and stuart um and of course you know all of the lovely people that came up to say hi to me today as well it was wonderful to meet you all um and yeah it's just been a fantastic day it really really has it's been so great regardless of the awful weather and it has been poor i think feels had a good day as well yes yeah what's been your favorite part about today icon icon definitely. and and also seeing work for tim Shout out again. <laughs> it's <laughs> honestly, it, it's away. made up. But yeah, it's been a fantastic day. It really, really has. Um, we've got Alt Towers coming up on the 16th. We're there for opening day. We are going to be there for the opening of Nemesis. Very, very excited for that. And it will be a full team vlog as well with Matt and Elise joining me on that day too. Yeah, so if you haven't already done so, make sure that you do hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. And again, if you've enjoyed the video, smash the like button and let me know. I really appreciate it. But for now, I'm Joe. This is Theo. And... Bebo. This is Theme Park Insanity. And See you soon. Bye.